Okay, one of the pains in the ass of this place is that it doesn't look like a home. So I had a guy putting his raincoat on on my porch, um, and it just doesn't... I had to pop my head out and just say, you know, hey, uh, it's like you drove in my driveway part and came up on my porch to put your coat on. Um, and people just... And that was on the heels of somebody about an hour ago who just parked to go across the street and handle some business. And I said, you know, it's like you're in my driveway. And... Uh, I try to be polite, but um, by the, uh, you know, there's only so much one man can do. Um, so where we left off, and I'm sorry that I trailed off and that this has gone long, um, but you know, again, this is basically specific to my building and my plans. Um, but you know, you can have foundation heaving, you can have foundation settling the wall um, erode and fall apart and let the joist fall down outside uh, but really the concept of understanding this in a cross section is that you've got a bunch of boxes uh, with finite wall lengths and floor lengths uh, attached to corners and you know influence points here across the board and if any should go up down you know change well that changes everything here F fundamentally that's the idea and it makes um, uh, spaces when you stand in them and the floor is angled or the wall is angled or something like that easier to digest what's what's happening when you get down to um, this, uh, the simple cross-section of it for me yeah I want to pick this place up uh, I want to completely build what would be up to uh, uh, code now and obviously heavy thick 12 inch walls three foot wide footing um, a heavier lally column um, the steel helps me to have fewer columns so the dimension of this carrying beam replacement um, its composition i'd like to the idea behind that would be to have fewer columns in the in the basement which i think right now there are five or six and maybe if i could get down to like three or four um that would be really cool and you know it frees up the space even even further um and like I say, a taller ceiling, the radiant floor. Then I can start to, I have boiler water and uh, mixing cool water going through the floor. I have boiler water going through all the other radiators, cast iron radiators in the building. So it's all radiant heat, which is a really nice heat. Um, and again, being higher up, we gain this whole front porch, would gain a foot or more. Um, and that would actually come with it as well. In fact, the porch, I have these shitty piers outside that are at all different elevations and you can see I relocated the posts so that they're plumb but that no longer falls plumb post no longer falls on the center of the of the pier that one's way over to the side uh, the top of this one is a, a chimney cap that somebody filled the hole with concrete and uh, the, the chunks are falling off with rebar it looks like shit so what would happen here is I would tear out this f first sorry this Hoya's got to get all up in our business but I tear the the porch out have a look to see what is actually happening on the site underneath here i don't know if the asphalt continues up to my foundation here or what and smash out these piers let the posts dangle from a supported and lifted porch um and then when we're ready and we get new piers all on perfect locations and elevations and everything uh we'll snap a line on all these posts in space and i'll saw them off and they'll all come down and uh to rest on the new piers those are redwood um, which is really cool, and they're original, so they're not going anywhere. But everything can go up, and everything can come back down here. And um, then, like I say, it'll be... Uh, not only will the foundation wall be up to code in terms of water, we'll get our grade down in a way. And when I was saying I've been here eight years, and this has been added to a couple times, what I that's the truth. But what I mean to say is, over the hundred years the building has been here, they just have redone and elevated, redone and elevated this side street. And obviously, the, that that's around the corner. But obviously, the main state route right in front of my house is only 15 or 20 feet away that's also continued to rise and rise and rise so this is in cross section happening across the front of the building as well as down the side and so we're going to make gains here across the board and i think that um for the cost of doing this this will the cost of doing this will be about half of what i spent on the building on its half acre and um but I think that it'll take the value of the building several times, two or three at least, if not four or five times, um, you know, take that value up. Because with a commercial steel roof, a clear span third floor, my third floor um, height here is over seven feet um, right now. So it could be a finished space, and especially if it were vaulted up in here, even to a, to just a lower, 
It certainly has, it would be awesome to vault it all the way, but just take this ceiling up to eight, nine, ten feet across flat and just leave a little bit showing there. You could even live underneath it now. It's perfectly comfortable height right now. In fact, it's more than seven. It's almost eight. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's almost a complete floor and it's 100% clear to have a huge basement with very few posts that you could drive into that's got a radiant floor i mean i could if i wanted to get crazy i could make enough of a ramp outside to drive vehicles in and wrench on them or whatever have a heated kind of a garage situation underneath um this is a real game changer uh i'm halfway through my mortgage i got to get more, more almost all the way through and then do a line of credit against the equity of the building or a second smaller mortgage for less than half the value of the building um but with the income properties that was what made this getting this right even though the floor needs to be it needs to be gutted to really get it right someday the layout of it and everything is also um not what I would normally do and so for now we got it buttoned back up and it'll continue to make income we're going to you know we divided it as a three bedroom we divided it into a two bedroom and a one bedroom so the apartment number four you've seen is to the back of the building here the apartment the new apartments to the front that needs a kitchen and a bathroom um, that will also be built in and finished while it's all screwballed up like this just for the sake of paying off this mortgage to get on to the next thing um, as soon as possible number two uh, I'm going to consolidate to the front but I am going to gut the entire side here. So when I consolidate this apartment to the front, it will be built into a gutted and um, correctly constructed space. The back of it will become our second floor. And so all the way down this wall, when I gut this whole apartment too and move it to the front half and take the back half of it, I'll open up the wall between it and number four. And all the way along, uh, I may fur it out. It'll be fully insulated or otherwise um, sound deadened and a couple layers of drywall and essentially craft a privacy wall between this and the other side because I can work to it from this side. Any electrical or plumbing issues that this continues to have or that I left off on, I can maybe work on from this side. It will allow us to do um, a lot of stuff here that won't hurt to do looking down the road idea being picking this place up and also all the plumbing that I need to add to this new one bedroom I can do from my studio up here which you know is just right here and so what that means is I can take my drop ceiling out and put my little zip wall around in here in a bubble and do all my plumbing and electricity here in my space where I can live with it um, and I'm not hurting anybody else and put it all back together again so I'm trying to do things here um, in a in a sens uh, sensical order <laughs> as opposed to nonsensical order and uh, hopefully we'll cover uh, this whole process a few years down the road on the YouTube channel and watch it start to finish. Uh, I I was excited by it at 10 years old in our tiny little farmhouse. I think this um, 12,000 square foot uh, commercial building from 120 years ago going up, uh, they did one down the street um, a year or two ago, the same company, and it was exciting to watch. Um, when I say down the street, it's about 30 minutes away, but I know they can do it. I have all the faith in the world, and I think it would be really cool content, so stay tuned to the channel if only for that. But this is the plan right now, and hopefully that helps people digest um, other things that I may reference working on projects around here in the future. So thanks for watching. We'll see you.